Heal, my name is Toves, and this is the first speed build on the channel of a prehistoric kingdom. So there's a bunch of stuff happened here. Uh, I should have seen kind of from the thumbnail uh, and that little intro section. We have a big biodome. We built this great glass dome. Uh, the speed build starts off with a bunch of kind of little detailing things. Uh, I did a bunch of this on stream, uh, and we're picking it up from there really. Just just kind of getting this initial area laid out. You'll see all this. Uh, more when I do the cinematic tour at the end but yeah just I'm really really enjoying this game it's um it's just so open-ended in terms of what you can do um I think we're only kind of scratching the surface so far obviously this is early access alpha uh, I was very very lucky to get given a key from Blue Meridian and Crytivo so thank you very much for those guys for that uh and yeah just it's like as I'm working my th way through I'm discovering kind of more and more of mechanics of of the game what you do tend to have to be a little bit cautious of when you're playing early access is that potentially everything can change uh, so some of the mechanics that i'm demonstrating in this i think are probably fairly likely are going to change um, and that potentially any at any stage we might lose everything that we've created here but i think we're going to play on anyway we carry on playing on just to see what we can do really um, so you see me kind of, yeah, using the resizing, uh, the resizing method a lot here. You'll notice that I've got a second one in the background. I'll talk about this more as we go along, but there are there are limits to the amount that you can resize something. You saw saw it happen just there, um, but you get a limit. Each individual piece can resize by a limit, but when you group it with another piece, uh, at its resized resize size uh, that reese that limit becomes reset so what you can do is you can basically infinitesimally resize something uh you know larger or smaller so here i'm just kind of i've, I've taken one of the wall pieces um, and i'm making some little blocks i wanted to give this some texture uh, so we kind of made these little breeze blocks um on the stream and then kind of used that to build out a whole a whole wall section here as i said it's really open-ended as to what you could do with this um the guys most of the people on the stream that when we were watching this were all kind of like oh please don't let them take this away from us because this would be amazing to keep um you'll see me kind of go to town a little bit with this method uh but yeah super flexible and one of those things that's definitely presenting itself in this game as being kind of there are very, very little restrictions on what you can do creatively. Um, and kind of reassuringly and positively, um, the word from the devs so far has been all in kind of in step with that. So, yeah, they are very much about kind of letting the player run off and do what they can do. Um, I'm hoping that applies to this. What we might find is that it just come, becomes... You know, sometimes that there are technical limitations and, and you know if this causes more bugs than it than it's worth but yeah for the time being we've created this little custom wall uh i'm not going to talk too much about what you can do with this you'll see this all uh, more in when i do the kind of real-time tour my videos if you haven't seen them before tend to sort of split between uh yeah sort of tutorials on guys and stuff and then this is probably more in the kind of meat and meat and drink of the of the channel the speed build stuff uh so the sort of big creative builds and then you know speed builds with tours at the end and that sort of thing so yeah just doing lots of to get back to what i'm doing this is a i talked about this a bit in the video that i did on the vegetation that's in the game um but the that the fact that you can kind of resize stuff makes all of this sort of thing so much more usable so here i'm creating kind of my own little what i'm calling sort of palette objects so i'm basically just kind of creating these little clusters of bushes and i keep going back to those um, and then of course you can kind of combine those and resize them and make things that really kind of diverse out of just little clumps of you know clumps of vegetation you quite quickly i think that's one of the things that's so noticeable about this game is how quick everything is to do yeah and that that took me a little bit of time that flower bed and it's pretty detailed and got quite a lot going on it but not as much as you might think not as much time as you might think because of the way that the game works and if you can kind of get your head around the kind of um 
you know that resize mechanic in specifics then you'll see all of the sort of potentials you can do with it uh, so I think we're about to kind of jump to a yeah okay so this was the bit where we were kind of really exploring what you can do I did a little tactical save there because I was worried it was going to break but here we go we're taking that rock and you can see <laughs> you can see the limits to where we can go with this so uh, off stream I then carried that on and thought okay well a cool idea would be let's see if we can build a whole great big glass dome so i uh, spent some time in, in Planet Zoo creating a series where I recreated a, a glass dome, a great big glass tropical dome. Um, and I thought I'd see how it works in this. And it's actually, what's super interesting about this is that a lot of the same principles for building in Planet Zoo exist, but you get a few additions in there. So one of the big additions you're kind of seeing here um, is the ability to be able to switch off a grid, a grid object from its grid. So I started off with, these are all grid objects. This is a piece of glass. I started off with two wooden walls at each end of a grid. Uh, and I switched them to glass. And unlike Planet Zoo, you can not only rotate those in the horizontal, but you can rotate them in the vertical. And that opens up by switching off the grid. Um, and that opens up. This, you know, alongside this kind of newly discovered uh, ability to make things massive, <laughs> it opens up the possibility of making this huge, great, big dome. So I think what this what this map for me is going to be. I think my plan is to just do kind of um, is to f have like two different domes in here, maybe of different biomes. So I'm going to have this kind of tropical one. And then maybe a desert one. Um, we don't get an enormous way through this. This is just starting the foundation of this. So you can see the bay down there. And you can see how massive this dome is. Uh, and you can see some of the rock work I did there. So yeah, I'm super excited by this series. Uh, and I think there's lots to come in here. So we're going to drop down into the real-time section now, guys. So I'll join you shortly for that. Okay, welcome back. So yeah, we'll do a little bit of all ground. There's not an enormous amount to see. A lot of what we've done, a lot of what's been done so far has just been kind of getting the getting the rock work done, this little kind of entrance way, obviously the dome itself. So we've got this little kind of greeting path uh, with all these kind of little decorated vines and things all along here. Uh, and my my rock work, I've just, a lot of what I've got really is just kind of temporary at the moment. I think I'm actually going to replace the dome slightly. Um, I think the version that you're seeing here, I think probably by the next episode I'll have, I'll have improved because it's a little bit, a little bit messy just kind of over here in the edges. So let's just move down this path. I'm going very, very slow. So just down this little set of steps. Yes, yeah, so as I said, not, not loads done. Um, just kind of the starting, this little starting area. I've got loads of ideas. As I said in the in the speed build there, it's going to be, but this is a particular biome. I think this is going to be the tropical biome. Uh, and then we'll move down and the second bi the second dome will probably be like more like a desert kind of thing. I think that's the plan anyway. I'm not sure if we've got any dinos yet that kind of fit into the into that second biome, but we shall see. So yeah, just a big kind of open plaza at the moment. I've got to do all this. Um, and really all the other stuff that I've done was this this kind of deck area uh, with this little trellis system. Actually, interestingly, this trellis kind of keeps getting a uh, a piece missing. I mean, and again, the pieces just go missing. Um, that's definitely not a hole that I've left, but it's a bit interesting. There are a couple of these little kind of glass looking like little transparent bits in the in the deck there some custom pots and things i love the way the water looks in this game i have to say so stunning obviously there's not really a lot else to see at the moment i've did the the rock work back there to sort of enclose things so we'll do a little bit of a sort of fly around there's no kind of dinos in yet as you can see these sort of prototypes of the circles and stuff 
if you've got any questions if it's not clear from how I did that in the video then do let me know uh, I'm happy to happy to to um, to pass on that information yeah so just kind of blended it in I think I'm gonna have a bunch of kind of bits and pieces here and there um, the shadows obviously potentially could be a thing I mean it's the worst bit is up there so when the Sun is over the top you're getting kind of a you see this kind of this shadow but it's not too bad anyway yeah I'll just brief really super briefly for anyone who kind of wants to see it um, just go through really quickly what the what how this works how this kind of making things massive and making things tiny works so I'll start with just an object um, and it can pretty much be anything you want um, it's actually quicker just to start with kind of something that's non-gridded already so we'll take that object I'll place that down and I at the moment I can let's make it larger so I can take that object and I'll have a limit to how big I can make that it's quite a lot larger but if I then duplicate it get another one and I place that down this these are now two if I if I select them both they're now a group or well, they're they're not actually I don't think they're actually considered oh they are a group at the moment but it doesn't need to even be a single modular group it could be multiple -mod modular groups but you need to have multiple selected more than one item selected is the key so now I have got my limit back again I'm doing the wrong thing now let's just do this now I don't have that put that that limitation again I can make this as big as I want and it will again it will stop me see that's my limit for the moment that's my limit but if I do the same again take these again duplicate them these new objects again as much as I like I can make them massive and that works the opposite way around as well so actually we can go and this is potentially more useful well I think both of these things are useful but if we let's just get rid of this for a second we'll go back the other way just so I can show you it working on the small scale as well uh, so where this is probably going to be most useful is for things like fonts I would say so if you want to write small text for example you just got to do it like this so duplicate shrink that one down and that gets pretty small already but again that object I can then copy um, move and then shrink again and etc 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 like that is already <laughs> it's already tiny tiny little pieces in in two steps and so that's how you get to that sort of scaled dome it takes a while to get the the, the kind of the steps right um, and obviously the whole kind of copying round thing but that's how I did the rock work back there that's actually not that many pieces uh, yeah there's not that many pieces but in fact that's a single rock just from that anyway guys yes hope you find that useful I hope you find it um, I'm really looking forward to doing more in this one uh, as I said it's going to be this is just the, the very first bit I don't think it's going to be particularly parky but we shall see I shall just going to kind of organically let this happen and see what happens all right thank you very much for watching my name is Toves don't forget to like and subscribe and I shall catch you guys on the next one take it easy